Hi everybody, it's February 12, 2019. I got a comment a couple of days ago from a subscriber and I wasn't really sure if I was being admonished or what, um, but it was about my not posting videos on what was happening with the weather. Guys, I honestly do not know what to say anymore. I don't know what to say anymore. I try. I I I sit here, I I create videos. I just I don't post them. I stop them. I don't know what to say anymore. When we have so many who are still choosing willful ignorance over the truth, over reality, and we can't get through to them, then this is only going to get worse and worse. And I have been saying that for seven years. If we cannot stop this, everything's going to get worse. I have been saying periodically, you guys who are listening, you will eventually suffer the consequences of what is what just amounts to evil. It's evil. Man controlling the weather, destroying an awful lot of people's lives, and those numbers are just going to mount. They're going to mount. Um, so, yeah, when good people sit around doing nothing, evil spreads. And yeah, I just want you to, you know, we now have more flooding in Michigan. Good evening. I spoke with one family who says in 10 years, they've never seen the river cross over Water Street. Tonight, as they deal with this mess, some say they believe there could have been an earlier warning. It was rapids literally going through the backyard. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I just couldn't believe it. Rick Smith waded through icy water early this morning, saving his daughter and seven-month-old grandbaby. My daughter called crying that the river was flowing through our house. This this is our front yard, Mom. This is the river. When I got in the house, it sounded like the house was falling down, not because of just that. This, the, it was raging out here. It wasn't raging over there. Even with this flooded road, you can't really tell how severe this flooding is. We have a bird's eye view that shows all of the damage and ice, but you get the real idea when you step inside. And that's a full basement. Oh my God. Yeah, that's not a Michigan basement. That's a full basement. That's about seven feet deep, Smith says. And at his neighbors. We've got five to six feet of water in our basement that we've got to get out that there's really nowhere for it to go at this point. Charles C. Abel's whole property, nearly a frozen ice cube. These are actual trees. These, These are, are yeah, they are. They're they're um 15 foot juniper trees. The pool deck and yard fence swallowed. Sidewalks glazed with ice. It was loud and very chaotic, and like we were sending our kids out the door. There was a fireman waiting for them down there, and we're like, just go with him. We're coming behind you. Everyone's glad they escaped, but Smith says he's told people upriver saw flooding yesterday. He hopes that's not the case. I don't understand if it flooded upriver yesterday. Why would you think it wouldn't flood down here and warn us? And at least I could have saved my car. No warning. Wow. So it floods upriver, which of course means it's going to flood downriver. And no warning. Guys, how, how can we possibly get through to our fellow human beings that, well, what's happening now in the world doesn't make sense. So when things don't make sense or when you have radical changes, you have to ask, how are these changes occurring? Please stop going with the lie of global warming and climate change. Man is doing this. They are using weather as a weapon and it's happening all over the world. You know, Australia, um, this is a time lapse. Now, you can see at night it's raining, but it's raining somewhat. And it's not raining during the day, but the flooding just continues and continues and continues. You got flooding in 
Queensland, you got flooding in Sydney. The water just doesn't stop. It continues to rise and rise and rise. How do you keep posting saying the exact same thing over and over and over again? You know, you got the big channels, you got the small channels. We're all saying a, a repeat of what we've been saying. We can't get through to people. They need to choose something other than willful ignorance. They've got to uh, face reality here. We're being attacked. They're using weather as a weapon. This is Chile. Chile. Catastrophe declared. Major flooding. Um, this is Sydney. You can look up in the sky and you can see this artificial, uh, artificial creation happening right above your head. head. What is it that, you know, you, you, most people just love? The, are you comfortable? just believing all of the lies that you're hearing on mainstream media while more and more people are getting destroyed more and more life is getting destroyed you know, it's like this is uh queensland yes this is queensland <laughs> Homes have been destroyed. Townsville, is it Townsville, Queensland? They purposefully flooded, just like they did in Houston. The Army Corps of Engineers here released the reservoirs to flood out tens of thousands of homes. And I believe that is what took place in Townsville. It's hard watching this every single day, but it's only going to get worse and worse. I'll get that little piece of them. You know, here, Michigan, okay, you got Texas Township, which was a little bit confusing to me because I had to, you know, on another video that I was watching. You didn't have this below it. And I was like, Texas Township. Okay, so they're talking about flooding. Well, Texas, you've got flooding. But can you guys in Texas get through to your fellow Texans to even check the Texas Weather Modification Association that brings about your artificial rain? No. No. Um... So what's happening in, in Michigan, Texas Township? Well, flooding of the lakes <clears throat> and proposals that are not widely accepted <clears throat> by the residents. Excuse me. We've had more rain since we've had since 1888, 130 years. And as Tom Smith indicated, the ground was totally saturated. Okay, you there at the mic, you've got to do some research on weather modification, weather being used as a weapon, and that's why you're having more rain. This is not global warming. It is very frustrating to see this every single friggin' day where people just will not, will not do the research to find out what is happening if you if you understand the cause then you can bring about a solution if you don't understand the cause that you are being destroyed then you can stand at a mic all you want you can talk 24 7 until you finally pass out and die you're not going to come up with any kind of solution that will protect you at all so you go, I just did some, which I now just periodically do. I, I'm, and this is not, this is not a desire of mine. 
or something that I want. I want to continue posting, but something has happened. You know, I don't know if it's the frequencies going on here, Anderson, South Carolina, or it is that I literally, my voice is, is getting, you know, less and less because you do this over and over and over again you see no effect you know the big channels the small channels where we're not having any effect because things are getting worse but you just go you scroll through australia chile brazil had a dam collapse um many people died Portland, Michigan, um, flooding concerns, Townsville flood damage, more than a hundred million in Australia. Um, it, and it was brought about deliberately. Um, flooding forces homeowners, they're evacuated in Portland, Michigan, uh, Rio de Janeiro, flash flooding. You know, th it, it's just on and on and on. And on and you see more and more people getting destroyed but they but these people they don't seem to want to really know what the problem is because they're so caught and and kind of cemented in their own prison their own brain that does not allow them to just take a step back and figure out life ain't what you think it is. It just is not what you think it is. Flooding, 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 flooding. And this is filtered for this week. This is just this week. Flooding everywhere. Um, neighbors hope to avoid flooding. Washington, flooding. Oregon, flooding. California, flooding, mudslides. Um, you know, what can I say that's new here? I can't. You know, th this whole thing about Michigan, Portland, and these, um, uh, not uh, Portland, the Texas Township, residents divided over plan to fix flooding issue. You're not going to fix a flooding issue when man is using weather as a weapon. It's just not going to happen. They want you out of these areas. Yes, they absolutely want to destroy you and put you into mega regions so that they can have complete control over every aspect of your life. But don't you see that your life is being controlled already? So even the people who still have their homes, who haven't suffered uh, the consequences of flooding personally, you're still being controlled because they have... They have created this reality for you, bringing about tremendous flooding over two-year period. Over a two-year period. And the flooding continues, and now they want to um, take the water from, the uh, what is it, Eagle Lake and um, two lakes and put it into another lake, and uh, that's going to have an impact on all of you in this area. But that's what they want. They just simply want you out of there. You know, look at this. My entire life is being disseminated right now. Uh, residents have been dealing with record flooding for close to a year and a half. You've got to look into why you are experiencing record flooding just in this short period of time. Some have spent $40,000 to build seawalls and other flooding barriers. Many fear the problem will only get worse during the spring snow melt. Oh, if they want it to get worse, it will get worse. And many of you who have not suffered the consequences will suffer the consequences. For more than 20 years, John Dixon has lived on Eagle Lake, but recently has spent thousands of dollars on sandbags and basement sub pumps to stop floodwaters that show no signs of letting up. It's kind of sad that it got to this point because it started in October 2017 and this is February 2019 and the problem continues 
more people getting affected. Don't you understand that your government is not there to solve any problems, but they're there to actually create problems. Um, <laughs> if people don't want the truth, then this is what they get. Clearly, the water just can't get out right now. There's too much going in, and it can't get out. Why is too much going in? What's happening that has brought about a radical change in your area in just a year and a half? You know, we now, once again, have a thousand plus mile storm that we never used to have. This was not Mother Nature. Now we get these regularly. Where is it? Where has where it started? Oh, Mexico. Mexico. You see the harp next red rings and many people claim you're they actually say I'm lying. I'm not lying. Uh, these are harp next red rings that if they were just the boundaries of radar then we would see them all the time. But we don't see them all the time. We see them periodically. So now we're seeing an awful lot of these hot next rad rings intersecting. And if you go on up the periphery, you see what, is, what appears to be this perfect circle right here. What appears to be, it is a perfect circle of precipitation, really. Um, well, you have these harp next red rings going throughout this uh, entire storm. And this is not, Mother Nature does not work like this. So they use the harp stations to um, emit these, this high frequency heating of the ionosphere. And once that happens, then you have these low frequencies bouncing back down to Earth. Couple that with these extremely low frequencies coming out of our Gwen Towers or the transmitter sites that our military have. And then you have uh, weather being created, modified, manipulated, intensified, steered. So, you know, look, we never had these huge, long, 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 and, well, not a perfect line, but these Mother Nature works in a circular pattern. She doesn't work like a, a, a huge, long rectangle of storm. You know, so I'm not surprised. I went on sites yesterday. I looked at what was forming down here and I thought this is going to blow up. It's going to blow up and sure enough, it blew up. So we've got from Mexico to Canada, rain, storms, flooding places, you know, here it is. You can see all of the laser beams or the, the um, extremely low frequency beams. You can see the ultra low frequencies and all of these very sharp defined fanned out lines in this storm. But yes, once again, here it is. Lovely. All of the extremely low frequencies taking place uh, where, where is this coming out of uh, Alabama? You know, you, you can go on these sites and you see more and more what people refer to as anomalous. This is, anomalies mean that something is rare, an odd rarity. These are no longer odd rarities. We see this all the time. But the use of the frequencies also, it's not just about the danger they present in, in modifying the weather. The danger is the health of all life gets affected. So 
yeah, Washington, not surprised you're having all of these strange snowstorms and all of the flooding. And yeah, I do blame my fellow Americans who just sit back and do nothing. And I do see now those who are choosing willful ignorance over truth, then they are absolutely the enemy. They are what allows this to just continue to get worse and worse and worse. You know, you go <laughs> to the worldview, oh my God, you know, it's like, okie dokie, you see how unnatural all of this is. Now, this is February 8th. And I'm going to take you to the 12th. But you can see all of the microwaves right here, smack in your face. NASA provides it for you. It's all here. All of the microwaves. All of the artificial cloud created by the aerosol spraying. Um, but they can create it even without aerosol spraying. Our atmosphere is loaded with chemicals and heavy metals that they can then just uh, shoot with electricity uh, and voila, you got cloud. There are so many different ways in which to make the cloud. But this is on the 8th. So they were preparing for our huge, long, very long, very long, uh, rainstorm. You just have to look at this. This is not Mother Nature. How nicely defined this is. Right? Uh, so when everything is so obvious, so in our face, everything's getting worse, you know, well, if you don't have any feelings, good for you that you just you just go on about your business and nothing matters. For those of us who do have feelings, this really friggin matters. Look at this. All right. You know, this is aerosol spraying right smack in your face. This is not Mother Nature. This is the spraying of toxic chemicals, heavy metals, biologicals coming down into the atmosphere. Well, sprayed in the atmosphere, stratosphere, and but we breathe it. We are breathing this. Why are so many people sick? Oh, sinus infections. That's what I hear. Everybody has a sinus infection. They can't get rid of it. Or people are just living in chronic physical pain, but they won't give up their Wi-Fi. Nope. They have to have their Wi-Fi. Even in these box apartments, box apartments, they need Wi-Fi? Really? Because why? You have to take your laptop into the bathroom with you? You only have one room. What's the point of Wi-Fi with just one room? And then you tell people, you warn them, Wi-Fi, look into it, do the research. There's a lot of uh, biological effects associated with Wi-Fi. Do they do it? No. No. But then you have to suffer the consequences of the neighbor who has Wi-Fi. It's madness. The world has just, has really um, become so mad, so insane, so self-destructive that because so many are exhibiting those behavioral characteristics, they end up killing all of us off. Microwaves saturating our planet. Toxic chemicals, heavy metals saturating the atmosphere, the air that we breathe. Look at this. But, you know, you could not be more obvious. 
that this is not cloud. But nobody even cares. Well, I don't know. Does it bring comfort to just continually accept lies? And then those who are telling you truth, does it bring you comfort to, you know, smash them down? Really? Is this cloud? No. It's all artificial. So you go to the 11th, and what do you see? Now that's an interesting cloud. Straight lined. Most of uh, the United States just covered up. And you could look at this and you could easily see this is not Mother Nature. So that should bring you to the next question. If it's not Mother Nature, what is it? And that, if you have any kind of curiosity in you, would bring you to research to try to figure out what is going on in the world. What is going on here? But people don't do it. They just don't. So we'll never get this stopped. It will only continue. And this is not just happening in the United States. It is happening all over. And they're dumping these chemicals and toxic metals and, and uh, biologicals into the oceans. It's not just the human being being killed off, but it's all life, all life, you know? UK, but you know, for the Queensland flooding that was taking place, now I have post posted videos like this before, and I've shown you that Australia, where, you know, there didn't seem to be much spraying going on. So let me take you back a few days. Wow. So isn't Queensland, I hope I'm getting this right, but it's up north, Australia. Um, look at that. Look at that. You had an awful lot of spraying going on for your flood. It's right there in your face. All the rain that you were having was brought about by man, weather used as a weapon against you guys. And there it is. Days and days. And I've been going through days. I don't know if you've been noticing but I'm going through days. So, none of this, none of this was natural. None of it. You come over to this site and you can see the high frequency heating taking place on the periphery of this storm. What did I show you over here? I showed you what are the uh, signatures of the high frequency heating and didn't mean to do that but all of the ultra low frequencies you can see being um, why did this stop let me refresh page well I don't know why it stopped um, You can see all of the ultra low frequencies it stopped again. Um, I don't know what's going on. So, all of these very uh, long, very defined lines fanning out, those are extremely low frequencies. You have your harp, next rad high frequency heating right here California with the extremely low frequencies high frequencies modulated with extremely low frequencies voila I, and I posted the videos they're on my channel all of those white papers and the studies and the experiments high frequency heating modulated with extremely low frequencies Voila, 
you can create cyclones, earthquakes, weather. So what you have is you can see the harp next rad extend it out where the circles are. Extend it out. You've got harp which Doppler radar, by the way, that's like a mini harp station. They emit very high frequencies. Shooting it up to the ionosphere, the high frequency heating of the ionosphere. Anybody, it, it, I mean, with half a working brain cell in their brain could understand just logically that's probably not a very good thing to be playing around with nature. Allow nature to just be. But no, you're not going to have that. Because, well, it's like, you know, a boy or a girl, doesn't matter, in their parents' garage, you know, doing experiments, and then they blow up the garage. They, these people just never grew up. They, they don't even know how to think. They're, they're, no morals, nothing. But we have, if you just take a look at this, and I'm sorry that it's no longer moving, but just take a look at this and you can see all of the signatures of man's hand in this. But the harp, uh, next red, high frequency heating, the red coming about. You can see the microwaves. Microwaves are big now being used as well as the extremely low frequency and the high frequency heating coming out of our Doppler radar stations. But look, when we have a population filled with people who just don't want the truth, they don't want the truth, they're happy with their lies, uh, you know, they just go on, they can't do, they can't think out of the box, they can't do anything differently out of that box. They're just stuck. So, those of us who do have that ability, we've got to suffer the consequences of those who don't. Pisses me off. Now it's pouring here. You know, let me show you. This was today. Today, our fabulous blocked out gray sky. Yeah, so I, I look at the sky and then I go to the world view. I go, well, yeah. Trees are dying. The 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 fungus, the 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 fungal disease. In four years, my being in Anderson, South Carolina, it's a wow this year. Just this year. And I ask people has this winter been very different? And I'm asking those who have, you know, they're South Carolinian. Uh, they are, they've lived here their whole life. And what are they saying? Yeah, it's really unusual. Can I get them engaged in conversation about what's going on now? But the fungal disease has been growing all over the place. The trees are so sick. Um, it's obvious it's in our... In our face, more and more and more, is it ob obvious? And does do you have property owners? You know who are. I, I even said to the manager a while ago, you know, can't you see how sick the trees are? And she looked at me like, you know, like I I caused this paralysis in her brain. I've spoken to the neighbors. The trees are very weak. You know, they're sick. They're, you can see all of the disease on the trees. So that means we get a little bit of wind and, well, the, they come down. And they come down on property. And they, they uh, hit power lines. And then we have a power outage. And, 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 but you can't get anyone to even listen. I just thought I'd bring you some cats, but I'm going to stop this now, but 
in four years, the four winters that I've seen in South Carolina, nothing compares to this winter. It's like the sun is going down and they don't want us to have any. And what we have had mostly is these gray skies or extreme spraying So I'll stop now, but I'm going to be just posting another video just showing you what the skies are here because this, this man is really, um, it's getting, it's getting bad. And, you know, look, many of you complain that I'm whatever you want to think of me. I don't care what you think. This is very, very upsetting very upsetting to see life being killed off and to see so many people having to suffer the consequences and you are suffering the consequences of willful ignorance and all links are below